Hey, I'm Nick Williams. In this video, I'm going to talk about the latest and greatest SEP available to agents to help more Medicare beneficiaries. And the SEP will help you make more money because, again, you will be able to help more Medicare beneficiaries. I'm going to talk about who qualifies for a, an SEP under this new uh, under the new guidelines. But first, let me address this. The SEP is available nationwide to residents of all states, tribes, territories, and the District of Columbia. Don't forget about those guys. The SEP can be used until June 30th of 2020. So again, June 30th of 2020. Now this almost can be contradictive here. It further states that that an individual will be considered affected and eligible for the SEP if they reside or resided at the start of the incident period in an area which for, in, for which FEMA has declared an emergency. Well, they just said it, all persons in all states. So don't let that confuse you. And if you recall, previously, some of the companies came out with an SEP and had to retract it. So I've been assured by uh first of all humana that uh this is a valid scp so we are safe um and i have researched it and it is a valid scp but they had to have had a valid election period during a valid election period at the time of the incident and they had to have had not made an election during that period that valid election period and that period goes back to march 1st so that takes us back to the OEP, which means that anybody who had not made a change in January and February in the OEP or in March would now be eligible to have an SEP up until June 30th. So remember, the OEP was for basically there for people who may have made a mistake that they could correct it during that period of time. And it, it enabled people to go from Medicare Advantage to Medicare Advantage or Medicare Advantage back to original Medicare. That's basically was the SEP. That's what they can do now, up until June 30th. An individual who did not, who did not make a change during that period of time now has the ability to make that change. So this is a great thing for you to be able to help your clients. So it dates back to March 1st. So we cover the OEP, but also if anybody had a, uh, a another type of SCP, maybe they relocated or, or something of that nature. Maybe they, they lost benefits or something. They would also be eligible to utilize the benefits as they had available to them for enrollment or disenrollment based on the the uh, benefits that or based on the el eligibility that they had when for which that SCP qualified them. So if it was somebody who had relocated, well, they would get benefits, the SCP benefits of somebody who reloc relocates. If it was somebody that or was using the OEP, then they would get the benefits of OEP. So that's it. It helps you as an agent uh, help more clients, therefore make more money. I hope I've explained this clearly enough for you. So there you go. Go get them. Talk to you later.